in store for you today the hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension palpable it's Tottenham Hotspur they take on West Ham United and it's live Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue. A warm welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against West Ham United. Thanks Derek, I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks, let's hope so. Geyer. Number five, Pierre Emile Heidberg. Number eight, Harry Winks. Number nine, Gareth Bale. Number this seven, is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. And number ten, Harry Kane. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabian plays alongside Yannick Vestergaard in central defence. Pablo Fornals plays with Andriy Yarmolenko out wide. And the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Alderweireld. This is Gareth Bale. Matt Doherty. Bale. And a throw in forthcoming. For Niles. He's enjoying space. And return to Four Niles. Space and time for the cross. The referee is given a corner. Center of the box. Dangerous ball. Nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Right behind it. The only way you can score there goes either side of the keeper. Hey, Pierre. Well, real excitement here. I say that because it is his long-awaited debut coming up. What should we be looking for from him, Lee? Well, Derek, they've had problems in that area in recent years. So I think they'll just want someone they can depend on week in, week out. He reads the game really well and he can handle himself as well. I expect him to be a real good signing. Well, time to bring in Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal at St Mary's. Alan. It's a goal for Southampton. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And teammates to play it to. Lo Celso. And the keeper did more than enough. Corner kick forthcoming. Well, that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. And he's fired over the corner. Harry Kane has done it. The first goal of the contest here. 
Well, here it is again. Ball into the box from the corner, and that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. Goal. Number 10, Harry Kane. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, they have it again. Pabier. And very deftly cut out. Plenty of options. For Niles. Good defending to prevent the chance. Kane. Giving the ball away. And a goal as match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. 23 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. This could square the game. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Pabier. Bale. Well, in one of the other games, the referee I'm hearing has pointed to the spot. More details from Allen. It's a penalty for Brighton and Hove Albion. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Oh, he's hit the post and it's come back out. What a chance, miss. 27 minutes played. It remains 1-0. Cheers again, Allen. Winks. Well, he's lost it. Sebastian Allaire. Oh, good use of the ball. Crossing possibilities. This looks promising. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. He's enjoying space. Will it be? Couldn't quite at the second time of asking. It's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Here we can take a look at it again. I'm sure the coaching staff will too. Just not good enough, you have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone, and at this level, you're always going to be punished. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. It's going their way, 2-0. Goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Number five, Pierre Emil And a goal at Stamford Bridge, I'm being told, but for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Crystal Palace. 37 minutes played. 2 1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, the stats don't lie. Tottenham certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession here. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Issa Diop. And it's with Thomas. Might be able to produce from this position. It's been aimed towards the front post. 
And a harmless cross gobbled up. Lo Celso. Harry Winks now. Son. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Lanzini. Yarmolenko. Allaire. Effective challenge. Matt Doherty. They have space here, Tottenham, in an attacking sense. In with a chance! No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Lee. Yeah, losing a game is bad enough, but he's not helping his team out at all. Lack of movement, lack of imagination, too easily marshaled by the defence. He's not worked the keeper at all. A potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur, Lo Celso. Can't miss, surely! And the keeper did more than enough. Corner kick forthcoming. And he's fired over the corner. Harry Kane has done it. The first goal of the contest here. Second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Vestergaard. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Yarmolenko. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. That was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Well, a fascinating piece of transfer business has gone through. I can tell you that Memphis Depay has completed his move to Inter. Yeah, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it, Derek? I think he'll add a lot of quality to his new club, and you'd expect him to have a real impact from the off. Just couldn't get it through. Bale. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. So, making the substitution now. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. 
It's Spurs facing Burnley. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Magnificent defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Allaire. Read it superbly to take back possession. Winks. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Ryan Fredericks. Lanzini. And the ball with Allaire. Couldn't hang on to it again. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's West Ham United facing Southampton. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Lanzini. Allaire. Giving it a try. The goals seem to be at his mercy. But defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure that comes from the defender that makes him hurry his shot. Close. Well, I can tell you a goal has been scored at Stamford Bridge. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Chelsea. 69 minutes played, 4-4. Amazing scenes. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Harry Kane. Doherty has it. Kane. Well, they keep passing away. Bale. Kane. Can he finish? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. And he read it well defensively. Positions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Just not looking confident in possession. Harry Kane. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Vestergaard. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Allaire. Throw in here for Spurs. And it's two substitutes on in one fell swoop here for Tottenham. Roselso. This is Gareth Bale. Just ten minutes to go. Lo Celso. Oh, good vision. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Jared Bowen. 
Oh, tremendous vision. Allaire. An easy one for Loris. Son. And news of a goal at Anfield. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. The ball bounced up just inside the area and he caught it on the volley and despite getting a hand to it, the keeper couldn't keep it out. Four minutes remain. 3-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Gareth Bale to be replaced by number 27, Lucas. He's driven in the corner. Well, still an issue here for Niles. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Spurs unable to retain possession. It's a good-looking ball. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Doherty. Uh, possession lost, intercepted. And with that, the referee says that is the end of the match. And Spurs victorious. They pick up three points. Their fans around the world will be delighted, Lee. Well, Derek, when the lead is extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. Potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur, Lo Celso. Can't miss, surely. And the keeper did more than enough. Corner kick forthcoming. And he's fired over the corner. Harry Kane has done it. The first goal of the contest here. Will it be? Couldn't quite hang on. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Giving it a try. The goal seemed to be at his mercy, but defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure. Kane, can he finish? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. 